Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been months since I've done a vlog style video and a lot of you have been requesting it. Now lately I have been separating my content and keeping more of my personal life over on Instagram stories and then keeping my YouTube channel a little bit more polished, professional, how-to videos because I have this thing where I always feel like I need to be adding value and providing information in my content and sometimes I shy away from talking about myself. There are so many juicy life updates I have not shared. I'm going to go about my day and then as I'm doing things, we'll chat. Okay, before my workout, I'm having my verb bar. I'm doing the pumpkin spice latte flavor, which is my second favorite flavor. Capri's napping, Carter either watches Pop Troll, but usually he'll come in with me for the second half of the workout. Doing my tempo machine. Today I wanna do legs. Okay, this is the one I went with. This is a guest coach. I've never done a class with him. We're working, folks. How my workout, buddy? He's helping me. Sumo walk, and then we do a little woo, 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 woo. This is harder than it looks. Ow, my thighs. We're gonna do a little glute workout afterwards. It's just, I think, like a 15 minute one. Get those glutes, baby. Where's Capri doll? There she is. Show everyone what a good walker you are. Can you show? Oh, you want the camera. Capri, can you say, yuck? Can you say, down? Yeah. There she goes walking. Oh my gosh, I die. So we're just gonna dive right into it. And the first topic of conversation as I curl my hair, which I'm sure will make you nervous, don't worry, I'm a pro, is baby number three. Because I can tell you 100% when baby number three is coming. First, let me say, being real with you, my head and my heart want different things, okay? My heart wants another baby. Nothing in this world makes me happier than my kids. They are my world, they are my everything. So for a while, I was going back and forth. I kept changing my mind, but being really honest with myself, I am kind of maxed out with two kids. Like that's as much as I'm able to handle and still maintain my sanity and my business and everything else I have going on. Like I just feel like three would set me over the edge. So when is baby number three coming? They're not coming. There's no baby number three. You know what that means? Ryan, snip, snip. Look, I'm only halfway done, so we might as well keep going with the teeth. The next thing I wanna tell you, I never shared this, but we were in the process of moving. And by in the process, I mean we were actively looking at houses, we had all of our finances in order, we had an agent and all of that. So we were planning on moving in the fall. And then fate intervened. As I'm looking at real estate, I see a house pop up in our neighborhood, just like a block away. And I see this house and I'm like, oh my gosh, this house would be perfect for my dad. My dad currently lives about 30 minutes away. He's been in the same house for 25 years, so he doesn't love change. I just sent it over to him, not thinking anything would happen. Long story short, guess what happened? Grandma and grandpa moving right down the street. So they actually just moved in and they're 13 houses away. And I have to say, it's actually been amazing. And my new life goal is that one day in the future, my kids live in the same neighborhood with me. It is honestly amazing. So now we are not moving. So Ryan and I have both been making questionable fashion choices lately and we've been making fun of each other. I don't know what's going on. I mean, for Ryan, it's definitely a midlife crisis situation. For me, I don't really have an excuse. You know what my excuse is? Comfort. So I wanna have a little fashion face off and you guys can vote. Whose fashion is worse? Here's round one, battle of the shorts. So here are Ryan's short shorts. You know, in his defense, he said he's trying to show off the quads. If you got him, want him. Okay, these are only used during leg day in the gym. Okay, it's not like I'm, I'm not in public in these bad boys. Is there chafing though? So those are Ryan's shorts. Now we'll show you my shorts. Okay, before I put these on, I just wanna show you what we have going on. So we have a little scrunch, so it emphasizes the cheeks, and then we have a little contour under the butt. So it's like a push-up bra for your butt. Before the shorts, before. Here is the after with the booty shorts, the booty scrunching shorts. I like these, okay? Whose shorts are better or whose shorts are worse? Short off. Short off, okay, whose shorts are better. Round two is Ryan's hat versus my shoes. He thinks this 
looks good. I'm a fashion nova. He says he is pioneering the neon trend and the real flat bill. This hat is ready to party, okay? This is a fun hat. This is like one of your fun friends, okay? You wanna go out with your fun friend? You pop this hat on. Now, my questionable fashion choice, ready for it? Here they are. We affectionately call them the clunkers. <laughs> now, in my defense, so these are hokas. If you've heard of hokas, they are literally the most comfortable walking shoes of all time. Are they attractive? Probably not. I mean, they're like hoofs. We got a hoof. Whose fashion is better? You oh. vote now for round two. Who wins? Is Ryan's neon hat cooler or my Hoka walking shoes? So the big update with Carter is that he started preschool. And how's it going for it's you? Good. What do you like about school? Riding bikes. Ready, Mike? Do you have friends in your class? Yeah, I think I have Isaiah and Conrad. Your teacher told me that you run the class. Is that true? Yeah. What's your favorite car right now? The color shifters. The color shifters? Yeah. And what's your favorite show? Paw Patrol. Do you like any other show besides Paw Patrol? Uh, no. This is the game we're playing now. It's called Toll Booth. Carter has a toll booth and he charges us different prices to pass. Don't forget to pay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hi. Literally been doing this for over an hour, in case you're wondering what my day is like. It's a toll. Um, nine dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next item on the agenda is putting away the laundry. Now, if you watched the video I did recently on my laundry system, you would know I don't normally mix loads. And this is the exact reason why. Everybody's stuff together. Woo, we love that. So let's call this segment Dirty Laundry, shall we? Because this is the real tea, okay? This is where we're really spilling it. One of the biggest things that has been going on behind the scenes is I am working on launching not one, but two brands. And I am so excited about this. I spend all of my free time, nights, weekends, like this is what is consuming my life. But the reason I'm doing two brands is they each kind of appeal to the different facets of my personality. Like one just makes sense. It fits in with my channel. It's very practical. And then the other business is a product I just love and is something that's fun. Okay, I'll tell you what one of them is because this is the practical one. It just makes sense. And this is a business I have been working on since 2019 and it is going to be a full line of eco-friendly home products so all sustainable and they're all going to be beautifully designed as well so beautiful sustainable home products for everything you can imagine we are on target now to launch that business in the spring spring of 2022 the other business is something it might seem like it's coming out of left field you'll be like what for that reason i almost don't want to tell you quite yet and i want to tell you when it launches because it needs a full explanation if i just say what type of product it is without giving a full explanation you guys might question me you might be like she is actually crazy what is she doing so for now until i'm ready to disclose the second business i want you to guess down in the comments what do you think it could be part of the reason why you may have noticed i have been doing more sponsored content here on my youtube channel because these are pricey. I am funding everything myself. It is all coming from my savings. So I really, really appreciate your support with that. And I am also trying to put out more content to account for that because I don't want all of my videos to be sponsored. Is that a mouse? Holy crap. That is a fat lizard. But I thought that was a rat. That lizard is eating well. Dang. I am very selective and picky because my integrity and reputation means everything to me. So I'm only ever going to talk about brands that I genuinely love, genuinely use, and that I would recommend to my own mom. So, okay, 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 we're getting there. We're getting to the real tea. I just wanna start by saying, please reserve your judgment. I do not like to rock the boat. I do not like to do things that I think people will potentially judge me or come for me for, but I also don't wanna feel like I'm hiding anything from you guys, and this is something I'm excited about. So, so because I'm working on these brands, it was taking so much of my time, and I started to, um, what's the word, what's the word? 
unravel. Long story short, Ryan is now working with me and I know that might sound crazy. He has always wanted to be an entrepreneur. He is able to be in charge of these businesses, get them off the ground, and it's kind of an experiment. Sometimes in life you just have to take a risk and I know it might sound crazy, but it also allows me and him to be with the kids, to work on the business and really be a team and a family unit. And so far it has been amazing and a great decision. If everything fails, if everything falls apart, he can always go back to work. I see people getting judged for this all the time. And that is another reason I really appreciate all of your support because mama is supporting the whole family now. Mama? Yes, darling. Mama. Oh, yes. Hey. Hi. Hi. What is that? We are here scoping out a new park. It's actually a really nice Breezy day, not too hot. There he goes. Hi, Mom. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, how do you stop this thing? <laughs> it doesn't stop. It stop. doesn't stop. It's stop great. It, stop. <laughs> okay, we found the splash pad. How cute! Sissy wants to go in it, and she's upset. She's not in her bathing suit. But we were just kind of scoping it out, and then there's a whole park over here. All right, so we are having our friends and their kids over, and guess what? Nothing gets your house cleaner than having guests come over. So I need to do a little speed clean down here, because you can see exhibit A. This is one day. Anyone know where these are from? Popcorn purse. Okay, does this doll not look just like Capri? So I'm over here focusing on my health and fitness and I get a special delivery today of a chocolate raspberry croissant. Like, you think I'm not gonna eat this entire thing in one sitting? Ah, I just stepped on something. What was that? It was moist. So this is my favorite cleaning product. It is the Parsley Plus ECOS All-Purpose Cleaner. In my personal opinion, this is the best smelling cleaning product. It works well, it's natural, non-toxic. So I order it in bulk. Woo! I know these big kitchen islands are very in. Honestly, they're just a magnet for clutter. It's just a crap shelf. It's Sunday night and you hear that? Silence. Ryan is watching football, the kids just went down, so I'm gonna give myself a little mini at home facial. Getting older over here, so gotta keep it tight, gotta keep it right. But before we go into that, I just got an email. So Amazon had reached out to me to do this beta program where I do a live stream and everything on the live stream while I'm live is 50% off. You heard that right, 50% off. So I'm gonna go live this week. I don't know exactly when at this very moment that I'm filming, but I will have it in the description box and probably as a pinned comment in the comments. So first to cleanse, my favorite cleanser of all time in this entire world, olive oil cleanser foaming. It gently hydrates the skin. It just feels very luxurious. And this foam, like I wish you could feel this. It is the most rich, thick, luscious foam and then for a facial brush i have a budget and a bougie option you've seen me talk about this and this is our bougie brush it feels so nice i will say the bristles on this are a little bit longer and softer but this one's 200 bucks this one is one dollar so i'm gonna wash my face i'll be right back okay we are cleansed we are refreshed and now we are going in and doing ultrasonic cleansing with this tool right here. But my mom actually uses this at her spa. She has a medical day spa in San Diego. So this tool is legit. It gets all the little lodge dirt and debris from your pores out. It's kind of gross, kind of cool. So what you do here is you apply more cleanser to your skin or an oil to your skin, and then you just push gently and slowly. Your skin feels so nice after this. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. I'm not gonna show you how gross this is. So much just came out of my pores. So now I'm all oiled up. I use the Vassor Beauty Oil, my favorite oil of all time. 
for the next step, which is a little facial massage. Yes, I know this thing looks weird. It's a facial massager. Get your mind out of the gutter. And I just have to take a minute and brag about my mom. In case you did not know, she has been a cosmetic chemist and esthetician for 35 years now. She knows her stuff more than any skincare expert I've ever seen. She's usually five to 10 years ahead of the game when it comes to new ingredients like niacinamide. That's all the rage in skincare. My mom has had niacinamide in her skincare for literally seven years. The cool thing, all of her products are named after the main active ingredient and she puts the highest concentration and the purest form of that ingredient. So it's not fluff, it's not filler. And that's the only thing I will use on my face because I know so much about skincare and ingredients and what's true and what's marketing. So I'm putting on my gold serum. I love this under eye serum because it's on a roller ball. Could not be easier. It's really satisfying. You guys know this is like one of my all time favorites. Then I am putting on my under eyes IQ gel. This stuff is legit like topical Botox. It instantly tightens and firms the under eyes. Then going in with ALA cream. This is alpha lipoic acid, really powerful, well-studied antioxidant. This is one of those products, once you start using it, your skin will never be the same. And then finishing off with possibly my favorite product of all, Super Serum. The reason I love this is it is an all-in-one anti-aging serum. So all of the most powerful, best research anti-aging ingredients in one product. So I don't have to go on and put on five, six different products at night. I can just get it all in one serum. I love the serum consistency as well. It's so smooth. This one, if you use this for three weeks, you will notice a difference, like visible difference in your skin. So I will have everything below, all my gadgets, favorite skincare items, and I have a 10% off code for my subscribers for anything on Vastware Skincare, which is exciting. And with all that said, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.